guys, welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. I don't know about you, but this winter seems like it's lasting forever, and I feel like having some comfort food. So today we are going to be making chicken and dumplings, or chicken pot pie, depending on wherever you are from regionally, which is basically a chicken stew with a biscuit topping. So come along with us, and let's make some comfort food. Okay, so I'm gonna be starting in my Dutch oven because we're gonna be finishing um, when we put the, the uh, biscuits on, it's gonna go in the oven. So if you have a Dutch oven or a large enough pan that you can make your stew in and still be able to slide it in the oven for the biscuit part. So I have mel uh, melting about a tablespoon of butter and to that I am going to add about a rib and a half of chopped celery. and also about a quarter of a cup of chopped onion. And we're going to let that get translucent. Okay, so that has gotten softened. And to that, we are going to add our herbs. I have some chopped thyme here, and you don't have to use fresh herbs, but I do find that that always adds a lot more flavor to your dish. But instead of this, you can just use dried thyme or whatever seasonings that you prefer. Rosemary is also very good, but I couldn't find rosemary today. <laughs> and then in here, I have some garlic powder, some poultry seasoning and a little bit of 21 seasoning salute from Trader Joe's. I'm just kind of stir that around. Get everything incorporated. So now comes the part where we're going to add a little bit of thickener. And generally when you're making a, a roux, when you're making a traditional pot pie or a traditional chicken and dumplings, you would use flour. And because this is a gluten-free, low-carb dish, we are going to use, I have about a little more than a tablespoon of almond flour. And I also have a teaspoon of arrowroot powder. You can use um, xanthan gum if you prefer. But my arrowroot powder, I just got it off of Amazon and it's very inexpensive, but it, it is a very good substitute for cornstarch. And it's very low in carbs. So we're just gonna kinda stir that around and let it get a little incorporated, kinda cook the floury taste out, just like you would with a traditional roux. And then to this mixture, after we've let it cook for a minute. We are going to add our chicken stock or chicken broth. And of course, homemade would be ideal, but I don't happen to have any right now. So I am using store-bought broth, but it is bone broth and it does not have any sugar. And FYI, it's very hard to find <laughs> sugar-free chicken broth in the store. So... So let, we're going to let this get incorporated and come to a simmer to kind of thicken up a little bit. I'm going to turn up the heat a little. And this is, of course, going to be the base for our stew. So we're just going to let that come to a simmer and start to thicken up. And if you can keep scraping off the the yummy bits from the bottom of your pan that's where all the good stuff tends to settle so now we're going to turn this down to a simmer because we are going to add a half a cup of heavy cream and we don't want it to be boiling too quickly while we do that That's going to give our chicken stew a nice richness. And 
and then we're going to add our chicken. Okay, so we are going to add our chicken. And I have about three cups of cooked chicken here. And this is thighs. And I'm only going to add about two and a half cups. Because that looks just about right. And you can use breast meat or a combination of both. I've used a combination of both before if you like a little bit of white meat in your dumplings, pot pie. But um, this time I'm just using the thighs. And then we're also going to add a half a cup of mixed vegetables. And um, alternately you could use broccoli or asparagus or something else that's a little bit more low carb. Um, but this is very traditional, very comfort food. And um, when you calculate the macros, it's about five to six carbs for a half a cup. And I just, it goes a long way for just this small amount. And to me, it really adds that home style taste, that comfort. But your choice of vegetable is up to you. But like I said, it, it equals out to less than one carb per serving. Gonna stir that around and we are going to let this simmer for a few minutes and let the flavors incorporate and we'll be back in just a second okay, so now we are going to make our biscuit topping for our chicken stew and I have a cup and a half of almond flour here in my bowl. And I've also put a little bit of garlic powder and a little bit of 21 um, seasoning salute in there just because I like my biscuits to have a little bit of seasoning in them so they're not just a lump of dough. <laughs> but you can do whatever you'd like. And to this mixture, we are going to add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and we're going to kind of incorporate those two dry ingredients together so that our baking powder doesn't get in one lump because we want it to make our biscuits nice and puffy when they're in the oven. So that's all nicely incorporated. Now we are going to cut in or incorporate three tablespoons of very cold butter and I've cut mine into little tiny cubes so we're going to put that in and of course you can use a pastry blender I have a pastry blender but sometimes I just like to do it with my fingers just kind of get the butter melted around I find sometimes if you use your fingers your body heat kind of helps um, get the, the butter more easily incorporated but without making it too soft, because when you put your biscuits in the oven, the butter is what kind of helps them puff up. So we just want to kind of get it kind of fine, sandy-like with little clumps of butter in there. So you're getting it incorporated, but not completely. Okay, so we have our mixture. And now we need to make a well in our bowl. And that's where we're going to put our wet ingredients. So we kind of make a little hole in our bowl. And to that well, we are going to add a quarter of a cup of heavy cream and one egg. And I like to just kind of work my egg in this little well before we add it to the biscuit. And then we're going to start incorporating this. And you don't want to overwork your mixture too much. Just make sure everything gets incorporated. Because we want that butter to stay whole. So we have a fairly moist 
dough here. And to this, we are going to add about a half a cup of cheddar cheese. We'll work that into our dough. Just enough to get it incorporated. Like I said, not, not too overworked. And then we are going to start putting our biscuits on top of our hot stew. And this dough is a little wet, so I'm going to grease my hands with some coconut oil. So we have our chicken stew, and we're gonna put our biscuits on there. And I usually will just use my hands. Like I said, I'm going to grease them with some coconut oil spray so that they don't stick. And we just wanna put little, little dumplings of dough right on top of our stew. And these are gonna puff up in the oven. Preheated my oven to 350 degrees. And this is going to cook for about 20 to 30 minutes. when it's ready. And the biscuits have spread out nicely to make the top. It looks delicious. I can't wait to eat. and hearty. Very satisfying, very comforting. It's delicious. Thanks for joining us to make our delicious comfort food. We'd like to have you come back and see us again on CJ's Keto Kitchen. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell. We upload content um, several times a week and we have recipes and conversations and just general keto information. So please come back and see us and we will see you next time on CJ's Keto Kitchen. Bye. Thanks for joining us today in making our chicken and dumplings, chicken pot pie. We hope that you enjoyed it as much as we did. Please come back and see us some more. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell. We upload content every week, usually multiple times a week, and we would love to have you come back and see us. So, I always screw up at the end. I always run out of things to say. Just get to the point. <laughs> Just get to the point? Well, I mean, the same as, really, we don't have to say a whole lot. Just, okay. you're doing great, babe. <laughs>